trading in League of Legends. This is the only guide you will ever need in order to trade correctly. Trading is the most important thing you need to master in the early states of the game, not only on the lane but also in the jungle because you will meet your enemy jungler sometime. And then there, uh, it is very important that you uh, have some things in mind and you need some champion knowledge for that but I will go through all of it in this video so make sure to stick around until the end and let's dive right into it. My name is Mario and I want to share with you some knowledge I have from coachings with professional League of Legends players and today the topic is trading and the first thing I want you to, to do before every game is look up the enemy champion so exa for example you're laning against Garen you look for Garen's abilities and then you check out the cooldowns of those abilities and you want to keep them in mind all the time while laning against him. You also want to look up which ability he maxes first and you want to keep in mind that the cooldown will decrease. You also want to keep in mind the cooldown of the ultimate ability and you want to look out for level 6 power spikes and you also want to keep in mind the cooldowns of the summoner spells especially flash is the most important one maybe but also for ignite tp is very important so also uh, make sure to always have the timestamps on uh, so you can look up uh, so always when an enemy uses an ultimate or an summoner spell uh, click it so ping it for your teammates and also for you so you can afterwards check it up in the timestamps and never uh, forget about any cooldowns anymore. Then uh, the main part of this whole topic of this whole video is while you are laning against the enemy so while you are farming you want to always look at the enemy and if he uses an ability you want immediately to have in mind how long he will not have this ability and you want to punish him of that. Also you want to look that you don't use your abilities on your on the lay on the minions so because he otherwise might as well punish you for it this is the most important thing and you also want to keep in mind uh, if there are any uh, any skill shots you need to dodge or you always want to have a plan of how the fight has to run out so you can win it and all the time Let's say if he uses all of his abilities and you use all of his of your abilities and you lose the trade because it's just a matchup, uh, then you don't want to trade, of course. But if he uses, for example, one or let's say two abilities on the wave, you want to immediately uh, punish him for that, and then he only has the one ability left with which he won't can finish you off. So this trade will automatically be in your favor, and this is how trading works and this is all you need to do you need to have a lot of knowledge but if you look it up just before the match while you're in the in the loading screen you will have enough time and sometime at some point you will know uh, almost all of the cooldowns and all of the power spikes of your enemy champions and also of your teammates so this is a big part of League of Legends especially for laning but also in the jungle as I said because at some point you will meet your enemy jungler and of course with some champions like Lee Sin or Sin Sao you actually want to invade the enemy and there it uh, is just the same pattern it's just the same thing you want to do there so yeah make sure to uh, to master this this uh, huge uh, important thing because if you want to improve and if you want to climb it uh, will help you a lot and yeah that's uh, actually already it for today's video if you learned at least anything at all from this video make sure to hit the thumbs up to support my channel 
comment down below. Let me know what your current ranking is in League of Legends because that's always nice to know. And also please remember to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell next to it so you won't miss any upcoming videos because I'm posting videos every Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday until I finally reach challenger rank. And this is my road to challenger, my challenger challenge. And yeah, that's it for today. I'm signing out. See you in the next video. Bye.